actually going to use that on you. Hi everyone, and welcome back to a video of me packing. The Marmite video that you either love or hate. Um, I personally really enjoy making them. Um, so today I'm going to show you packing for an almost one week trip uh, that incorporates two like brand press trips, which I've never done before. I'm very excited. I'm going away with Kills to Berlin for like three nights, two nights two and then I'm going to Florence with Nars Cosmetics I think for four nights um, I'm meeting my friend Mel there which is so exciting there'll be a vlog of that like week coming up very soon for you but I thought I would show you the process of me putting on the ship in my suitcase I'm kind of halfway there I did a little bit of packing at the weekend so I'm just going to show you what I've prepped already and then I'm literally leaving tomorrow morning so I'm going to do the final throw everything in now so some pack unpack to repack you know that makes a lot of sense let's talk you through my pile over here first um this is my pile of clothing that i'm going to wear to the airport so i've got a linen shirt because it doesn't touch my armpits and i want to really wear it again later in the week a pair of black jeans um i think the weather in berlin is kind of okay but we're going out to the northwest northwest of germany and apparently it could get a little bit rainy there so i thought it would be good to take my jeans with me um, so I've got my away suitcase, this is the medium size. I would normally try and challenge myself to do a carry-on here, but let's face it, I'm going on a trip where I wanna, you know, I wanna take some Instagrams, wanna look nice in some outfits, and um, yeah, just need a little bit more space than that. So on this side, I've got all my clothing. I've got two bags along with this one. I'm thinking of also packing my lower bay as well. Yeah, this is like the least capsule wardrobe trip I'm probably ever gonna do, but like I said, I'm going to Florence and I want to feel fabulous. So I've got my Alien Mina bag. I've got the Simon Miller yellow leather bag. In here, I've got my pyjamas and swimwear and underwear. Uh, these packing cubes are from Away. I like them, but I think there's better packing cubes out there. I will link to my favourites down below for you. Um, this one has clothing in. I'm not going to show you every single piece, but just so you get... A gist. I've got a few more things I need to add in on my laptop I've got a list the good thing with this being a press trip is I have an itinerary for every single day of like every single moment so I know exactly what I'm going to be doing so I've basically been able to make outfits for each day and so I went on my laptop and I just like put the day like put the activities and I know what I'm wearing like sorted and I can see where I can repeat items so I don't have to pack so many I think I've got about 12 outfits in total you'll see them in the vlog um, but yeah, I've just got some like denim in here, I've got some shorts. Um, the Nars trip involves a black tie cocktail attire. Uh, so I've got my Isabel Morant dress, some Realization par bits, of course. I'm bringing the Wild Things Naomi skirt. Um, so just like all the usual favourites in here, nothing special, nothing new, except for one thing, it's arriving today and it's a raincoat because I'm an idiot and I don't own a raincoat. And I don't much fancy standing in a farm <laughs> just completely getting rained on. Um, so for that reason, I bought my vans with me. They're in here. Oh, I need to take out my flip-flops because I'm going to wear those to the airport. I keep seeing everyone wearing their Havianas and they look really darn chic. They're like the slinky version of a tennis sandal, really. So I'm wearing those to the airport. At the back of this, come on. Underneath all these packing cubes, I've got the redone vintage blazer in there, the uh, Chandler Bing blazer, as we like to call it. Um, that's in there just in case I need like an extra layer at any point. And then obviously I've got the raincoat as well. And then I've just got some like other shoe options. I've got my lock sandals in here. I've got a by far pair of the carry leather slingback, for more high heel sandals. Have I got them in? I think I'm taking them in black and nude. Oops. Like I said, this isn't the most casual I've ever packed, but I've still managed to fit all of my clothing on one side of the suitcase. So that is great. I love these away suitcases because you can put these straps on and then compress everything down. It's very fun. Then on this side, I've got some beauty bits so far, but this is where like my beauty stuff and electricals are gonna go. I was very kindly sent this from Chanel. It's just like a pouch, it had some products in, but I was just like, that pouch is the nicest damn pouch I've ever seen. So I think I'm gonna put some makeup bits in there, and maybe my electrical cables and stuff. In here, I've got sunscreen and mosquito spray. Apparently the mozzies are out in Florence in full force. Um, this is like a little Space NK 
bag like brush holder um, but I keep my cotton pads and muslin cloths in there and um, I need to put my toothbrush in I love a tote bag gotta have a tote bag you never know like for dirty washing anything like that um I've got a book I think I might take another one with me as well this one is Taylor Jenkins read one true loves mm, interesting I'm also reading the book edits pick for August as well so hopefully I can finish that while I'm out there and get started on that got my adaptive plug things. Are you ready for some travel, skincare, body care, hair care, all the care porn? This basically has all my skincare in here in miniature. It's kind of random things like my deodorant, hair, body care, toothbrush, scissors, the whole shebang. Um, and then at the top, I've just got like shower gel, shampoo, perfume, a nice bath oil in case I'm in a hotel room with a bath, razor. That is all in there. So this is from Cop Beauty. Um, yeah, the handles on it are really bad. <laughs> but once they break off and you put some little ties on, it's all cool. But one thing I do need to do is pack my makeup. So I'm going to try and pack that in the top. Oh, what's that? There's some things in it. I've got a mini NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Yes. And a mini Generation G and cake, and it's the original formula from Glossier, and I much prefer the original formula. Oh, this is a good day. So the other thing that is partially packed is this bag. This is from Wood Grey, and I was kindly sent it. It's their bucket bag, and it's just absolutely massive. Like, the size of it is huge, but it's so good for taking on as hand luggage, because you can also wear it, like, at the other end. It's a beach bag, ultimately, so I thought it'd be good for by the pool. And because this has been out and, like, on top for a couple of days, like, on top of my suitcase, I've sort of been throwing things in a bit willy-nilly uh, that I thought that I might need. Um, Nars very kindly sent me this very swanky makeup case. I thought this might be good to put my makeup in. Um, a book arrived this morning. I was like, maybe I should take that as well. Trick Mirror. I have heard everyone talk about this book. Um, Man Repeller is on Into the Gloss. Um, this lady is everywhere, um, but everyone's saying how good it is. So that literally arrived this morning. So I might throw that in as well. I've got like a little pocket that has all my bank cards, my passport, my keys. It's a little mini Glossier one. They're great. Never throw them away. You can always use them. My noise cancelling headphones because I don't like flying. Um, I just need to cancel out the whole experience. Um, this is what I keep my vlog camera in. Mark is recording on it at the moment, but that's obviously coming with me. Um, this is the Olympus. How do you say it? The Mu. 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 Mu 2. Ready? This is coming with me. Oh, I need to pack some extra film. Don't let me forget. Um, but this is coming with me because I want to take some cool film shots whilst I'm there. And I'm packing my little squash because I love squash. And then in here I've got sort of bits and bobs. It's got like my um, AirPods in, headache tablets, cystitis relief, tissues. Um, I take this with me whenever I go away and it's just fab. It's got everything I need in, like a pen, all that boring stuff. And some socks because, oh, I feel like I've got more. These were in the wash drying the other day when I was packing. So socks and also my uh, nude pants as well. They're going in, <laughs> random. Some electrical wires that I need, my sunglasses, and then my like mobile charger pack. Um, so yeah, some random things. Some of them need to go in there. Some of them need to stay in here. I'm going to grab my laptop now because I've been keeping a bit of like a running score of things that I still need to pack and also I can show you how I set out my outfits as well and my packing guides which are on my blog they're free to download I'll make sure the link is popped down below for you um, but they're bloody great you won't leave anything at home if you use those so let's get up because my knees are killing and I bet yours are too <laughs> so this is just the stickies app on my desktop it's nothing fancy you could easily do this in like notes app but I've just written down every single day what we're gonna do and then what I plan on wearing at each thing and then anything that was missing because it was in the wash or it hadn't arrived yet like this raincoat I just put still need to pack so I think that's what I'm gonna do now is just pack in these extra things that I thought of and then um, see where we're at I'll kind of double check that with my packing list if you've ever wondered where those are if you just go on my blog if you scroll down to the bit that's about the book free downloads and then there's a worksheet bundle there's all sorts here like budgeting capsule wardrobe weekly plan a meal planning fitness routine um, but I'm just going to go for the packing ones <laughs> I'm sure these are on my laptop somewhere but uh yeah I always download them when I need them so I'm just going to scroll down and I guess this is somewhere in between short haul 
and long haul. I mean, it is technically short haul, but I'm going away for a week um, and I'm kind of taking kind of the kitchen sink with me. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through this and see what I'm missing. on the wall, do you like them? Sneak peek, um, yeah, kitchen and hallway makeover coming soon, finally. When traveling with fake tan in a glass bottle, put it in a sandwich bag. I fitted everything beauty wise into this cold beauty bag. Um, I will link this cold beauty bag down below for you because although it has really rubbish zip handles, it is flawless inside. So I put all my makeup in the top bit here and in this little zip section at the side. But I didn't really wear that much makeup in California. I literally just wore like a tinted moisturizer and a mascara. But honey, I'm going to like Berlin and Florence. Like I'm, I want to put more of a face on. So I'm just going to leave my beauty stuff there. So that's just got skincare, hair care, body care in and then for makeup I think I'm going to put it in this NARS uh, very nice like clear beauty bag um, and so I'm just going to pack it from my everyday stash which is in here so I'm thinking choices I don't want to overpack but I want to have options <laughs> I feel like that is a uh, that's the motto of this video um for primer oh it's a real top I love these I'm going to be seeing a video very soon where I use this and I am floored by how good the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright face primer is. But I also really love the Giorgio Armani. Hopefully you would have seen a video where I use this. Giorgio Armani is smaller. I'm going to throw that in. And then for my base, I'm going to take the It Cosmetics Your Skin With Better CC Cream. Oh, why do I take MAC Face and Body? You know what? Screw that. I'm taking MAC Face and Body. I've got MAC Face and Body on my face today and I just love how it looks. It works really nicely in like hot temperatures as well. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Awake Concealer, Glossier Stretch. I'll take all the brushes. My brushes need a wash. Ooh, gross grim. I will wash my brushes and then I will pick the ones I want to take with me, but there will only be a few. Um, I'm going to take the Becca Glow Glaze Stick, the Chanel Bronzer because it is the best. The Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit is just a delight. Um, so I'm throwing that in as well. And then for the blush, um, Nars very kindly sent me this, which is their multiple. Of course, why do they even need to look at the name? In Portofino. Yes, I'm going to take that. I can wear that on my lips, on my cheeks. And um, also they sent me Dolce Vita for the lips. What? It's very close to my natural lip colour. I'm going to take that as well with me. For eyes, I've got the Nars, the mini thing that I found in my bag earlier. So chuffed about that. Uh, for brows, I keep it very simple with the Milk Brow Gel and the Glossier Brow Flip. No, oh, it's not. It's in it. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got my Surat Eyelash Curlers. Oh my god, I love this. This is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Wet Waterproof Mascara that I used in that sponsored video that I did with them. I've got it on my eyes today. I love it. It's so good. Definitely taking that. And then for eyeshadow shades, I'm going to take the Giorgio Armani Eye Tint in 23. Adore that. And I feel like taking something a little bit like glam with me as well. So I've got the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Burnish. I use these in my new in makeup video. Again, I'll link that in the corner for you. It's kind of options for that. I think I'm going to pack a powder. This one is from MAC. And then for my lips, I've got that Dolce Vita. I've got my Pat McGrath lip balm in my bag. I've always got that Portofino one if I want. I think, I think I'm fine for lips, right? Can I fit this all in here? Do you think I can? That's a must. <laughs> you don't think I can? Babes, come on. Have faith. Hey! I have nothing to say. 
I have nothing to say. <laughs> this is quite heavy, but I feel like it does have all my favourites in. I just threw in some jewellery as well. I added in a couple of pairs of hoop earrings, including the ones that I was wearing. So, hence why I've transferred to a smaller hoop. So I've got some like medium sized large hoops and then also like a big chunky Missima necklace in there in case I want like something a bit fancy schmancy down there. Um, but that is everything. Um, I've still got plenty of room in my suitcase, especially on this side. Um, I'll just do a quick scan through and talk you through anything that I added in. So on this side, I added in any clothing that was missing. The only thing that is missing now is my raincoat. Um, what I do is I add that to a list on my laptop. Stand here, I've just got an emergency list that I will check before I leave tomorrow and that's just got like the things that I need to use between now and then that I need to make sure that I don't pack. Of course, you can make that note wherever you want. In here, I added the makeup and jewellery. Um, I added my straighteners in. I put my toothbrush on charge and added toothbrush on my to pack list. I also added in the other book that's down there. Um, and I also added in my steamer. So this is my steamery steamer getting so many questions about steamer. I did a post with Russell Hobbs recently and that was for a slightly like larger, kind of more at home steamer. And they're kind of similar. I'd say the steamery one is still better for travel and even better for travel is the tiny, tiny one that I've got. I just feel like the steamery one is a little bit more powerful and I'm taking a lot of like linen, light cottons with me that it would just be good to be able to do in one instead of having to change this little bit which has the water in. The Russell Hobbs one though has a massive water thing on um so it's really really good for like at home if you don't like ironing like me so yeah as mark pointed out the other day i now have three steamers i have a problem <laughs> but i've added that in there i've still got plenty of space so that is everything in my suitcase done so easy to pick up <laughs> i'll wait before we go just in case and then in here i added a few bits and um, i didn't end up using the fancy bougie Chanel thing in the end. Um, I might have some like wires or electronics um, that I'm gonna put in here that I can throw in there. Um, this is The City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. Uh, this is the book edits pick for August. I'd say I'm currently about a fifth of the way through. It is good, like so much better than I thought it would be. I don't know what, I don't know what I thought it would be, but I like, I wanna know more. I'm really excited to read it every night so that'll keep me busy on the plane. I think everything else in here I showed you, my water bottle, and then I've got the tiniest little Glossier pouch that has my liquids in, that has a perfume, the Clinique Moisture Surge, my squash, and then my Pat McGrath lip balm. So kind of moisture for my face, moisture for my lips, and then a perfume in case I get smelly. Nice. So tomorrow morning I will quickly double check this and then throw in my laptop and I think I think we're good to go. So that is it. I am packed and ready to go. Uh, if there's anything you would like a link for, drop me a comment. I will try my best to link you up. I will link down below in the description box, like the highlights of this video. Thank you very much to Mark for filming this video and being oh so still and hopefully not causing any like travel sickness vibes for any of you. Um, I am so excited, like I said, Berlin first and then I'll be in Florence when you see this video. I cannot wait. Um, I've been to Berlin before, but I've never been to Florence before and everyone's just like, it's unreal. Um, but yeah, so excited for the week ahead. Vlog coming soon. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, bye.